watching tonight, a community is in mourning after the loss of two middle school students in the span of just a week. The district is working to support other students through their grief. 7 News' is Ayla Ferone standing by live now. Ayla, this is a very close-knit school community. That's what I'm told. I'm told that the community here at Dacusville Middle School is very tight knit. That's because there's just more than 300 students who attend this school and the loss of two of their own has been very difficult. Two Dacusville Middle School students losing their lives in the span of a week. It's hard. It's very personal for everybody and it hits home. District spokesperson John Eby says both 7th grader Kelsey Merck and 6th grader Kylie Woods were active at the school. Kelsey was uh, an honor student. She was a cheerleader. Uh, Kylie was a member of the band. Um, so they're just deeply entwined with the school culture. Kelsey was killed in a car accident this weekend. Now a bouquet of flowers marks the tragedy. And it was just last week that Kylie was killed in an accidental shooting. I think it had been about 15 years since a student had passed away there at that school. And then you have two in one week. Evie says the middle school is tight knit and with students this age. They're still dealing with some of the, the struggles of childhood and then they're dealing with the struggles of young adulthood at the same time. Grief can be difficult. You add a crisis like this into the middle of all that, and that's extremely hard. The district sending emails to parents after each incident. That's what we always want it to be, the news to be shared at home before the students come to school so they can be emotionally prepared for that. Meanwhile, at school, grief counselors are on hand and staff are working to support students as well. Nobody knows exactly what to do, <laughs> but if, if you love students and you show it, they know it, um, and that's the most important thing. Both of these young girls were active at the Dacusville Recreation Association playing volleyball. Now that association and its leaders are working to plan a benefit for their families. That date is set for December 15th. I'm reporting live in Pickens County, Ayla Ferone, 7 News.